Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries, and in this video we're going to talk about how to terminate a Category 6A jack onto a piece of a Category 6A cable. So let's move over to the shop and I'll show you how to do that. Here we're looking at the packaging of a 6A connector, and uh, it says 6A right on it. Uh, the connector's made by our buddies at Leviton, so you know it's a good quality connector. And uh, we take the connector out of the packaging, you find two parts to it. You find the actual body of the connector itself, and then you find this little dust cover. Now this dust cover has kind of a unique shape to it, and it is keyed in such a manner that it will only load into one side like this and lock in with that little key there. And that's always on this side of the connector. And what this aids in is, besides being a dust cover, uh, this with the, this on that side of the connector, and we line these up in a rack, they'll all be the same way. And that's it, it's a little bit of separation between each of the individual connectors in a rack system. And the reason is, is because of something referred to as alien crosstalk which is just one more possible uh, uh, crosstalk measurement we might have to make, and this helps eliminate that problem. So we're going to actually put that on last, that little dust cover. Now normally, when you look at a connector like this, again, it's wired in a B format. Uh, you're normally, again, sitting on a bucket or maybe underneath the dust when you're putting one on. And so they roll on you and you can damage the wall, or you could actually damage the connector themselves. So a lot of manufacturers, including Levitin, will make what are called termination pucks. And again, this is just a, a, an aid in order to help us make sure the jack is stable so the jack doesn't move on us when we go to terminate it. Now, you'll notice that the connector and the uh, termination puck have a, a corresponding half to each other, and this uh, connector will load right into the termination puck like that and gives us a nice solid surface now that we can actually terminate the connect, uh, cable with. Now, this particular connector has some uh, little towers on it, you'll see there, and those are used to help separate our pairs and maintain our twists right to our connections. And you can see the orange and green, uh, uh, the blue are on this side and the green and brown are on the opposite side. So we're going to lay down the pairs in those spots. Now we're going to strip a little bit of our Category 6A cable here. And this stuff is huge. Uh, it's, I can't believe how big this wire is, but I'm going to use my stripping tool, go around a couple times here, and then just pop and break this. And this particular cable we're dealing with here has uh, a, a very large separator in it for, the, for all the pairs. And we're going to take all the pairs outside of this little plastic p divider here and get them out of the way. And we need to remove this piece here so we're, it's not in the way when we go to terminate this. So I'm going to actually take a pair of snips and cut across out that with hopefully not damaging the pairs. And then since the green and uh, brown are on one side and the orange and the blue go on the other side, I'll make sure they're on separate sides of each other as well. Now, as we go to terminate this, let's go ahead and do the uh, blue pair first. And you'll see it goes blue, then white blue here. And in many cases with this 6A wire, it is twisted so tight that you're going to have to untwist a little bit of this. So I'm going to untwist just a, about a half a turn there or better to actually get this wire over this uh, separation tower. And our outer jacket should be somewhere close to a half inch to the connection itself. And I'll use this little device called a, a spudger to actually help me set those pairs in that particular uh, connection. And now I'm ready to terminate that with my punch down tool. And my punch down tool is gonna straddle the connection. It should be straight up and down on it, lean it a little into the cutting edge and push down on it. And it terminates the blue pair for us. And now we're going to come over here and do the orange pair. And again, you might have to be doing a little untwisting of these pairs to be able to get that uh, pair in that connection. And again, use my little spudger tool to actually set the pair in the connection for me here. And now I'm ready to terminate that pair with my punch down tool. Okay. And then I'm going to move over here and do the opposite side. And you'll see the green goes in here first. Okay. And again, I'm going to look at where it separates and untwist these pairs a little bit. And this Cat 6A cable is really, really twisted. And again, use that little separation tire to uh, separate my pairs there. There we go. And use my tool to set the pairs. All right. And I'm ready to terminate that one. Okay. And then we can move on to the uh, brown over here. Okay. And again, might have to untwist just a little bit of this cable, but you'll see in most cases we'll be able to leave these twists right to pretty much the connection in a cable. All right, and again, use my little separation to the tower and my little spudger device to set the pairs. And now go ahead and terminate that pair down. And there we go. 
And uh, now I'm going to rem- uh, see the cable comes out the back here. I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, connector out of the termination puck. And the last thing we have to do is put on this uh, this uh, uh, dust cover. Now the dust cover will slide over the side of it here, okay, and push it in here. And you'll see again it's keyed and it's keyed with the connector, and we'll snap it together like that. And uh, there you have a properly uh, terminated uh, Cat 6A connector onto a piece of uh, Category 6A cable. And uh, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. My name's Ron with Ideal, and I'll plan on seeing you on the next one.